Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Noise, and welcome back to Sky Factory 2.5. In the last episode, last episode, we were working on, working on uh, we have an altar and the cauldron, the cauldron, and then we set up the witch's oven again. Um, I've been just kind of doing some work, getting a whole bunch of bunch of um, resources and stuff from witchery. Um, there's a couple problems, couple though that I'm ha I'm running into. And we're gonna fix those today. Um, so one of them, one of the clay jars. We don't have many. We don't have jars. Um, um, we don't have much clay. So there's a couple of things we can do to fix that. We will we can do that today. Um, the other thing, the other is spruce saplings. I'm not getting many of those when I, um, I grow the trees and then cheese them down. So we'll have to figure out something about that. Uh, I also want to chop down some more alder trees. So I'm gonna let those grow, grow here. In fact, let's get like a like bunch. Um, between episodes, I did I did, uh, cut down a whole bunch of all the trees. We got a decent amount of wood. We're gonna get some more. Um, I'm also trying to get an in an a uh, I was gonna say enemy as an entity. I'm also gonna try to get a mob to spawn um, that's related with witchery. So we'll see if we can't get them. Um, so I'm just gonna let those grow naturally. Uh, we are going to be doing a couple different things today. Uh, one thing I want to do is get the clay situation taken care of. So if we take a look at clay, um, by the way, I did make a, a new hatchet. Um, I just made a dark steel one so I don't have to repair it as often. Um, the flint one was breaking too fast for my liking. But anyways, um, in order to get clay, we need, there's a couple different ways. We can use a clay conia which is a um, it's a mana flower that creates clay from sand um, we could use water essence and earth essence which we don't have water essence but water seeds are pretty easy to make uh, and I think that's the way we're gonna go um, otherwise there is slag um, which we don't really have much of and, and then clay uh, which we could use dust and water um, sludge boilers. That is a that is an idea. How much sludge do we have? I'm storing that, aren't I? By the way, I also just set up a uh, a temporary solution for the ender pearls. Um, I have this barrel set up with a void upgrade, and it just sucks up any ender pearls that we get. Anything else we'll deal with later, but. Uh, Resident Ender, Molten, Bedrockium, Essence. Um, green, Black, Green. That's Enderman Farm, I do believe. I believe this is just Black, 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 right? Yes, Black, Black, Black. Where am I putting that? Uh, am I doing anything with that sludge? Yeah, I am. It's all coming down right here. So we already have the sludge boiler. Uh, this just isn't working quite fast enough for my liking. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna supplement it, I think. Because how much clay do we have? We have six clay balls. That is not nearly enough for these clay jars, because these clay jars are used a lot in witchery. Um, so, and I don't believe we have any clay dimlets. If we did, that might be something we would do. Liquid water. Um, Time fast and dirt. So we get infinite dirt. That's actually kind of good. Um, I guess we could just. Nope. Uh, no clay materials. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to have to do the water essence. Um, so let's go get some uh, Osseo essence. Uh, we'll get. A decent amount. We're also gonna want dirt essence, which we have in here. Um, let's get like six and six. That would that would be good enough, I think. Um, be fairly quick, uh, and we can get some clay from that. So we're gonna need a bunch of osseo essence. Let's get uh, one of these essence, and we'll just take that down. Uh, that should be plenty. Uh, so yeah, we should 
The only thing we should have to do now is how many buckets do we have? Not many. So destabilized redstone. All right, let's make some buckets. We have iron. We have, yeah, we have a lot of iron. So let's make, let's just make a stack of buckets, and we will fill all these with water um, from our source. Whoa! I said whoa. I tried to to catch myself a little bit faster than that, but it didn't work. So we get a bunch of water buckets. Um, these aren't used, I don't believe, um, when making the seeds. So not really any need to do this other than I want a lot. Also, um, copper. We have a lot of copper now. Um, yeah, just, just for the record. Anyways, uh, let's make the water essence seeds. Um... We might also make the shard seeds later. Um, right now, we're not doing. Uh, we're not doing thongcraft, so we'll just do this. And we need eight more buckets worth of water. And I screwed that up. All right, that should be good. And having the extra buckets isn't going to be that big of a deal. If it is, we can always just, I don't know, we can, um, we could smelt them back down, I think. I believe there's ways to get the buckets back. But anyway, there's the earth, or the, uh, the water, rather. And now let's look at the earth. I think it's just dirt. So let's just get dirt. I have a little bit of that and we'll do the rest and let's get the osseo essence cool we will put this into our uh our automated system we'll watering can those just to get some more clay and is there anything else that we can take out for right now um because this filter is full honestly we don't need the blazes so that can be broken, that can be broken. And I'll just put those in there. Uh, we will do... Like so. And those will get planted here in a moment. I will watering can them. Uh, and we'll get a lot of the, the essence we'll get a decent amount anyways so yeah just doing this we'll get a decent amount of the water essence and this isn't full I had to change this around just because I kept having the problem of it was filling up but let's just do this and we'll get we'll get some more clay uh, and that will be pretty much all we need for right now okay it's stuff with okay why this this machine keeps getting stuffed with items. I think that it hits too many. Um, I have no idea though, because it just doesn't seem to want to work right. I also put the crescent hammer away. Whoops. Um, what can we? I don't need the buck. Actually, I do need buckets. Um, let's keep one bucket. Uh, I don't need the Draconic Evolution Tablet right now. So, yeah, let's try to get this harvesting again. I don't know why it does this, but it does. And it's annoying. Um, the only thing I figured, maybe I need to put a servo. Maybe that'll help. But I don't think it's needed, so let's grab a servo. And we'll see if it helps anyways. Um, but one of the other things I'm going to want to do is I want to set up a harvester planter uh, for trees. And we're going to automate some tree production. Uh, nothing major, just get out of here. Uh, let's... All right. I don't know why it's the flu it's almost always the fluid seats. 
and I don't know why and it's stuffed again allow over sending is that gonna help okay that time it was a water seed And it's stuffed again. I really don't understand why this is having so much issue. Um. Yeah. I I don't. Uh, the only thing I can figure is maybe if we upgrade our. If we upgraded our. Uh, Oh, uh, what are they called? The the fluid, the item docks. Maybe that would help. But I'm not sure. Uh, it's weird. Definitely. Um, I'll have to figure out if there's a way. Because otherwise, I have to basically babysit this. Um, actually, there might be a way. What if? All right, we have the servo. Let's go get a chest. Uh, we're gonna kind of do this, uh, not the best of ways, but it, it, it'll it work. Uh, let's get a chest, just a normal chest. And we'll put that on the back so that it um, directly inputs into the chest and see if that fixes the problem. So we will Throw our crescent hammer, because that's what I wanted to do. All right, chest, and then servo here. And that'll pull everything. So if we put that like so, that should, keyword should, but that should fix it. Uh, anyways, how much water essence we need? One, two, three, four and it's something like this we'll get half a stack of clay balls so let's go ahead and uh, get these cooking we'll get a half a stack of the uh, all the things and what I want to do now is we need, need we need to make another uh, ender tank so let's do this do we have everything we are missing the cauldron easy enough all right, and then we need some ink sacks. And now we need to make some patterns. So first thing I wanna make is an interface, uh, an ME interface, and we need logic processors. So logic, I can tell this to craft one more. Um, we'll do that for now. I'm gonna take that out, put those in. It's still, oh no, I'm getting bricks. Can I potentially get these back to clay? I don't think I can. Oh well, we'll need bricks for stuff later. Um, I forgot the important step of crafting. Uh, where's my crafting table? Crafting the clay jars before I cook them. All right, so we do that. We'll get some formation cores, and then we need annihilation cores, which we already have. So we should be able to go ahead and make uh, an interface. Uh, what are we missing? We're missing glass. Uh, so we have sand. We have a little bit of sand. Let's cook those real quick. Um, so what we are going to be doing is we need to make an, one more little screen. Um, so I believe it's a terminal. Uh, it is the interface terminal. That's the last thing I want to make um, for all of this stuff. And we'll put it right here. It'll use up another challenge, or a channel rather. And this will tell us all of the molecular assemblers. And there is a 
There is something hooked to nothing. Um, because there's, there should be two interfaces, yeah, and then there's one hooked to nothing. Not sure what, oh, that's this. So let's actually rename this, um, priority, no. Can't you rename these? Um, we're going to hide that on the interface terminal and see if that is, yep, that's exactly what it was. All right, so we need to get some more patterns. Um, if we take a look at just the craftable stuff, uh, we want to make the cores. Um, but the, uh, where are they? The annihilation and formation cores. So allow substitutions of components. We'll get that. And that one. I think I did this one wrong. Yeah. Let's store that. So substitutions are fine. Uh, we can go ahead and put these in here. And then we want to learn how to make an interface. Uh, we just need the glass. And we'll store that. Uh, let's go ahead and make 10 more blank patterns. We're missing glass. Uh, that is kind of typical. But with the earth essence, we can now make a bunch of sand pretty quickly. Um, I think. No, we need fire essence as well, don't we? Yes, which that is lava. All right, so we might make that later. Um, for right now, not too worried about that. Uh, is this working how I want it to? Why aren't those coming into here? Oh, um. I don't need the filter anymore because uh, I'm filtering it up here. So that is why they weren't going in and now they should be uh, and they'll be planted and all that fun stuff. So let us go back and um, we have let's encode that and we'll put the interface there. So. Now we can automatically make interfaces. Now there's one last thing I want to make. Um, so let's get a tin gear. And I do need to make some blank patterns. Uh, let's just make three. I need eight glass. I have a few. Uh, let's pop down here. Do we have any sand? We do. Let's have a bunch of sand and we'll go ahead and put this uh, we'll cook some of this up we'll cook a stack up and we'll put the rest in our AE system um, the bricks can go in there the item can go in there so what I want to do is I want to make it so I can make basic machine frames um, pretty much immediately um, and it's just iron glass and tin gears so we learn tin gears uh, once we get the Actually, we'll just do uh, two blank patterns. Can't do that. I can. Cool. So that will view stored. Um, and, oops. We should be able to store that. There's the 10 gear. And then the last thing we just, we need to make. Why do I have two? Oh, well, uh, let's change this and we'll do basic machine frame. Um, we do need to make a 10 gear. Uh, so let's put that in here. 
Uh, so 10 year, we'll just craft one of those up. It'll take a quick second, and then we have interface, or the um, machine frame, rather. So cool, that is the beginning. Um, we're going to want a lot more of those, but let's go ahead and make two basic machine frames. We're going to need a little bit more glass, which we have. So basic machine frame two and start and it will craft it up pretty quickly and then we have those um, now let's make a planter um, shift click so we need copper gears we need two of these uh, we need one of these we need pistons two of these we need plastic Plastic is the only thing that's going to be a challenge. Um, we have rubber tree wood. Uh, I believe you can use this in a sawmill. Uh, I don't believe I have a sawmill, do I? No. So we're going to have to grow a rubber tree. That's not too big of an issue. Um, and I just want to do a standard rubber tree. Not a mega one. So we'll come over here. Let's go ahead and chop down these guys. And see if we can't get... I don't know if vein miner is causing problems with... Um, with the... The mod. Um, but let's stand. Let's just twerk. And we'll get some rubber. Cool. Um, we need to eat. Unfortunately, we'll need to get more food. Uh, we have 24. All right, let's plant a bunch more. And we'll chop them down normally uh, next time. But anyways, we have a bunch of stuff on us. Uh, let's go ahead and get this cooking up. Uh, we'll get four of these cooking up. Uh, rubber wood can go in there. And the saplings. Alright, cool. So we should be able to make the planter relatively soon. Um, once we have the last one, we'll cook it again. And all that fun stuff. So let's, while we're waiting, let's come down here. And I want to see, do we have... One more unknown dimlet. This is the only thing left that I have to kind of clean up is getting all that stuff transferred over um, up here. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. I haven't decided. I consider bringing all that stuff up here, but that's annoying. Um, I have a lot of things to kind of deal with with the uh, mob drops. Honestly, I'm, I'm highly tempted to just stop collecting them, uh, but we'll see. So anyways, let's put that in there. We can do a planter. Uh, and then the next thing, the other thing we're going to need is a harvester. Uh, which we'll need some Invar axes. And some gold gears. Uh, another redstone reception coil, which I have to shift click that. And we just need some shears. And there's a the harvester. Cool. So last thing we're going to need is some barrels. Um, I just want to get better barrels. So there's one, two, three, four, um, five, six. Because we're going to want barrels for all of the vanilla wood. Uh, and the last thing we're going to want is some dirt. Just nine dirt. Uh, we can put that in there, and we should be good to go. Now the only other thing is we need to figure out where to put this. Uh, I'd like to put it somewhere where we can get power pretty easily. So let's get some cobblestone, the dark panel, um, and I think just right here we're gonna extend. Um, 
Yeah, let's just extend this a little bit. And I'm gonna turn my magnet on just to be safe. All right, so what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if we want a three by three, this will be just fine. Cool. And we'll put this here. Now we need a harvester. Uh, and then the planter will go underneath this guy. Um, we will get, let's see, let's see how I want to do this. So first of all, we need to flip this guy around. Uh, we're going to want an ender tank uh, next to it, plus a fluid duct when we're going to want some servos. So let's get I guess we only have one servo. Let's see. Let's make another set of servos. Uh, we're going to want um, some levers, which are really easy to make. And what else are we going to want? We're going to want item ducts. And then the last thing we're going to want is, let's see, let's do the chest thing again. Um, and what other things are we going to want? We're going to want food duck. We're going to need a few of those. Not many, like two. All right, we'll see what else we need. So, oh, we need power. Um, so redstone conduits? No. Harden. Harden flux ducts will be fine. Uh, and the last thing is F7. We're going to want to light this up just a little bit. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to have, we're going to have barrels over here. We're going to need to power both these guys. So right here and right there will work. We'll just bring this over. Uh, I actually want to hit this line because this is the actual power line. Um, so these guys should have power now. Uh, the next thing is this is going to want to receive items. Um, and the items it receives are going to be selected based on, whoops, I want those back. based on which thing we hit. Uh, actually, I, that is not what I want to do. So let's grab this guy. Actually, let's break them uh, so my magnet works. We're going to want to come up from underneath these guys. And we're going to do this. We want servo. Um, and same thing with all of them, all three of them. So we'll do this, servo, this, servo. Uh, and they'll be powered only when um, they receive a redstone signal. And what we'll do is uh, we'll put redstone signals here. So if I turn this one on, uh, this should be on, yes, and none of the others. So let's just do this just to make things a little bit, eh, yeah, just make things a little bit nicer. And cool, so that is how we'll decide what, um, what goes to each. I'd actually rather them like this, so I can see a little bit better. Um, 
this is really cramped. So let's actually move everything up one block. And we will do that. And I'll do it, I'll do another row of this, like so. All right, and then dirt. Harvester. Um, like so. That, like that. Cool, and then we'll do a chest here. Um, we need more item ducts, which I will go grab here in a moment. Um, let's break this. Uh, can I break this? Cool. Set it there. Um, power. Item ducts. And. Oh, dang it, I did it again. Uh, yeah, we need more item ducts, but we can set up the rest of this. Uh, so we do this to an ender tank. Uh, we'll set the ender tank to black, 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 black. And servo, just in case. Um, we'll need a, just a few more of the item ducts and uh, let's turn this back on. All right, so item duct, not duck, not quack. Um, put that away. I think we can put those away as well. Cool. So all we have to do now is set this like so. And I'm going to make this look a little bit nicer. We're going to get rid of those connections. Um, that's not where I wanted it. Let's do right here and we'll get rid of these connections and that connection. But I will take that wrench back. Uh, and then we just need this. Ignore. Um, so basically anything that this picks up will be put through here uh, and sit here. So now all we need to do is get um, one spruce, actually we can get all of our spruce, all of our birch, and all of our oak. Uh, I don't have any oak, but we can also come over here, get some saplings uh, while we're at it. We have some foul fumes, which is what I was after. We'll put this in here. Uh, foul fumes can go right here. Alder wood, alder saplings. Um, so we need one of each. And just for demonstration purposes, we will do oak wood first. But I'll put that like so. Birch, oak, spruce, birch. And we'll go ahead and lock that just to make sure we do this. Uh, it should pull that out. Um, it should plant it. And we should be able to water and can it and all that fun stuff and get. Yep, there it is. We will water and can it. Uh, I think I want to move this guy. So let's move him like right here. Does that connect? Okay, hopefully that works. So let's grow the oak sapling. Harvester cuts it down. Transfer the sludge immediately. And we're also gonna have apples. That's something we're gonna have to get rid of. But that will put five of those so we'll need one more barrel um, for apples but that's not too big of an issue so let's grab barrel and uh, I don't know that we'll use apples all that much but 
put apples in there. Lock it. Cool. So if I want to just kind of auto harvest um, spruce saplings, I can do this and it will do all of the work for me. So let's chop some of these. There we go. That is what I wanted to see. The only question is where? Um, that might have been it tried to spawn. Yeah, it's trying to spawn and, oh, right there we go. That is what I was looking for. So if you cut down enough trees, you'll get this guy to spawn. It's an end. Oh, God. Um, these guys are kind of annoying because they have a lot of health. Um, but they're also really neat because when you kill them, uh, you get away from that stuff. They hurt a little bit. He's, he's dying on the ender lilies. But yeah, these are the protectors of the forest. Basically, don't break too many trees. Um, it's only witchery trees that will make these guys spawn. But when they die, they will drop an ent twig and some saplings. Um, so, we get another one to spawn? Nope, okay. We'll get the rest of these guys. Um, I think that was another try to spawn, but couldn't. Alright, anyways, um, killing ants is fun. Um, the ant twigs are actually really useful, um, to make bark belts, which are really cool. Um, and you also need it for the mutating sprig, which is high, really important. Um, so I want a few more, but otherwise we don't really need too many ant twigs. Um, but we'll go ahead and put the ant twig in here. Um, alder saplings, any excess we'll, we'll just go ahead and cook. Uh, so we're getting to the point where... Uh, I'm thinking that we're gonna have to call the episode unfortunately, so do we have the clay jars? No, um, they're all in here aren't they? Yes. Uh, I'm thinking we're gonna have to call the episode unfortunately uh, Just because it's going a little bit long. Uh, we also need food. Let's get um, Hmm, what's some food we can eat? Right there lamb with mint sauce sounds delicious. Uh, I actually am a really big fan of lamb. Uh, lamb is really delicious, but um, before we go, Reek of Misfortune, no. I want some hit, some whiffs of magic. Uh, we're going to take a couple of these. We're going to take, uh, let's take eight of them. Um, we might not have enough, but we, we'll see. So, I need some more buckets, eight buckets to be exact, and we're also going to need some diamonds. How many diamonds do I have? I only have 20 diamonds. Yep. Uh, definitely going to need to figure out a good way to get diamonds, and I also want to light this up. We're also going to light this up a little bit more, because um, I get some dark spots when trees grow, and I don't want that. So, we need some lava. We need exactly eight buckets of lava. Why eight? I don't know. Um, I just kind of picked that number. But what we can do is we can take diamonds, lava buckets, and whips of magic and make attuned stones. Uh, so these things are highly useful in witchery. Uh, we look at the, the usages of them. Uh, we need to make the distillery. Uh, candelabras, kettles, uh, chalices, slippers, uh, spindle wheel. A lot of this stuff is things we need. We need the distillery, we need the kettle, and we need the spinning wheel. Uh, the candelabra and the chalice are both uh, important as well. Um, the poppet shelf is if we want to get into poppets, but not super useful. Uh, not in single player anyways. So, 
Another rack. Nisio Soul Sand. Um, I'm trying to decide what to do from here. So, we have a couple um, attune stones, and I think the next thing I want to make is the distillery. Uh, so, we'll put the Whips of Magic back, and I think we'll go ahead and make a kettle as well. Um, both of those are important to continue on. Um, so, distillery. We need clay jars. We just need two clay jars. Um, and then the other thing. Uh, like I said, clay jars are really important in this. Um, but the distillery is going to let us make kind of more complex fumes. Uh, but yeah, there's the distillery. And then we want the kettle. Which is going to let us make brews. Uh, I know I need to make a cauldron for this. So let's go ahead and do that. And there's the kettle. So both of these are really important. Um, they also both take altar power. We don't have any altar power, so we're gonna have to set that up next time. Um, but for now, I think, let's take a look at our achievement book. Um, it wants us to enslave some hobgoblins. We need to do um, some work to get to that. Um, to go to the spirit world, we just need to make a brew of sleeping. So that is kind of the the goal. We're not going to do too much more with Witchery. We could, but I don't know that we will, at least not for the time being, um, because um, the Brew of Flowing Spirits, which is right here, this is a pain to make because you have to make it in the spirit world. So you have to get all of this stuff in the spirit world in order to make it. Um, so you basically have to start from scratch again. And the spirit world might actually be void, so... Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know how that works. Uh, but anyway, we need to make a brew of sleeping. And we have most of the stuff. Uh, we'll need to make cookies. We'll need to make a brew of love. Uh, most of the stuff, again, we have. It's just a matter of making it in the kettle. Um, so yeah, the only thing we really need to do is get some altar power. And we should be able to do that fairly soon. Um, and that is kind of the goal of Witchery for this uh, mod pack. Uh, we might do a little bit more work in there. I did make the distillery. We might make some poppets. We might make some... I don't know. We'll do some We'll do some fun stuff with Witchery. But for the most part, we're just going to do whatever the quest wants us to. And go from there. So hopefully here soon we'll get some extra saplings. Um... And I think next time we're going to move away from Witchery and we're going to start looking at some other stuff. Um, we could get back into um, Batania or we could do some more tech stuff. Um, there is a lot of things we still need to do, but I don't know. Uh, one of the big things that I want to try to do is we need to find some more... Um, some more dimlets that are actually really good and not just kind of the, the generic boring stuff. Uh, so let's see if these are any good and then we'll call the episode. So desert, nope. Body planet, cyan color, gray stained glass, nothing good. Um, we do have molten void metal. That would be cool. Um, Let's see, what else do we have that's cool? We have blocks of diamond, but that is a little expensive to do. Um, this reactor does not have enough power output for that. Um, it might if we fill it up. So what I need to do is we need to find Yellorium. We need to find Yellorite. And we need to start getting um, some of this molten stuff. Uh, so maybe molten void metal would be good to make something out of. Um not really much else. Blazing Pyrothium, but that's not super useful. Uh, so we need to get more liquid. Uh, we also need to kill a lot of uh, dragons. So that is going to be a key thing that we want to find, is a dragon dimlet. 
So there, there's still plenty to do. Um, I think next time we will we'll mess around with some more magic, maybe, and kind of go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!